I had a brainwave how I could fix this problem which Neil created. Basically, we had the post in there and these in front of the post and we needed to like bungee it around the post to keep them properly shut. I came up with the cracking idea, put the post at the front, yeah, and these two things, excuse me, these behind the post I can hear something cracking. So all we need to do is put these on the other side. Jobs are good and how are we gonna line it up, Dan? Uh text Neil. How are we gonna line it? We'll text Neil. What's this, Dan? That's a Titan Lithium Iron 1.5 what, AH. What, what what does it do? Text Neil. I don't know. I've been using this with my conkers, Dan. Have you really? Mm. More on that and a video up to later and um, yeah, another video tomorrow. You, you look out for my video tonight, Dan. <laughs> Crack on. Hold on to that. Be useful. I have to do everything. So I'm going to watch you and film you in a second, Dan. You can attach the clasp. Huh? You, you can attach the clasp on that side. So what I suggest you do suggest you get your ass over there through the gate and come over here. There you go. There oh, you go. this is getting too complicated now yeah. for me to be honest with you. So I did the job, I fixed it. What are you doing? Get out of my shot. <laughs> Dan, Dan. What? Do you know what this is called? Saw. Have you used it yet? I didn't need to use it. Why not? Because I had nothing I needed to saw. I'll right. tell you I'll tell you the hardest part of this job, right? Give me that, the Titan. Like that. He brought this along, right? It, I said he needed a screwdriver, and he brought this. You don't need one, we've got this, right? <laughs> it only unscrews, it doesn't screw back in again. Uh, sorry, it only screws in, it doesn't unscrew again. What's this for on the top? Oh, these numbers on the side here, Dan. What's this, what's this button here? What's this button here? What's that oh, that's clever, isn't it? What's that one doing there? Oh, then? so if you press that in, it goes. What's this one? Right, I'm just going to cut here? that. They won't know. What's they won't know. I'm not no, even no, going to no, show no, them. Yeah, because we need to sort this off now. Here you go. You need to finish the job off. Just, uh, before you go, I was just getting a bit of practice in. Is that your technique? <laughs> You've no chance. Dan, 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 you know, we're, you know, oh, we're, look. We're, no, that's the. Uh, You've that's, lost already. That's the sacrificial, the sacrificial one below. There we are, Dan. Look at that, Dan, there. Yeah, I'm impressed with this, Dan. Yeah, I'm impressed. You have got a lot of conkers. Yeah, but, Doesn't mean to say they're going to be any good. You've not been practising today, have you? I don't need to yeah, practice. Come, 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 School come, come, captain. Get back to your pitch. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. School captain. Look at that. Look at that. There, 1979 this, to this is 1985. It's a special conker, this. Whatever. We'll see. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. It's a new day. It is a new day. Now. I'm looking forward to today. Well, we're moving house, Mazzy. I know. We're moving house. Yay. <laughs> uh, we've got some gifts. We have. Some gifts. Quite a few. <laughs> Let's just run through a few of these gifts. Got some beauties. This one's special. I like this one. <laughs> Liverpool ball. <laughs> We only have one bowl, so that's going to be brilliant. Liverpool plate. Yay! That's so good. Fantastic oven glove stroke barbecue gloves. For me, they're meant to be for me to help me out of the hot oven. Oh, Neil's up, look, finally up out the bed. They're supposed to help me to get me think because she was worried about me getting my hot trays out. If you look closely, they've actually got hearts. Liverpool pinny. <laughs> it's so good. And uh, uh, they are quite big actually, but I'll, I will give them a go. These have come from Craig, Christine, and Winston the dog. Yeah, lovely, lovely couple. And then just got a kitchen knife set. <laughs> yeah, kitchen knife set, some utensils. Utensils. And, and wireless blue earphones. Bluetooth. They're not wireless. Uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth earphones 
and something else really cool which i'll show in a later video from the lovely lovely tim bless him yep so Miss and tim. oh and we had some beer given to us as well forgot about that <laughs> oh and m ms will you stop tapping on the table you're making camera go like that mazzy we'll stop that then silly thank you all so yeah. so much love you to bits right what about this present from neil no i've shown that before oh you shown that when are you gonna fix it then or when i find out what red and black means and if it, it's gonna electrocute me oh just give it back to neil i'll sort it give it back to neil <laughs> right mm -hmm. let's move house let's check out your work then home sweet home Check out the hinges, Yeah, Mazzy. I'm just checking out your hinges. Are you checking out my work? Yeah. Well, that's peculiar. Why didn't you have it going onto this side? Because the hinges are on this side and they just like blow open if they're a big storm. But now storm. you're coming in at an angle. No, if you hold this, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you what needs doing. Every time we turn up. Yeah. Unhinge the back. I know what needs doing. We take the post out. Yeah. We'll put him in the corner for now. And then lift and open. Yeah, but you're not understanding what I'm trying to say here. What? Hold that. Hold that. Give me this post back. Right, so you've got your post in there. Surely it would have been better to have gone on there so your fence is straight. Going on the other side of the fence now, it's kind of cockeyed. It's not cockeyed, Mazzy, because it sits on top of there. Yeah, but you've still got that much where it's going in like that. I'm not stupid. I've done fencing before. It's not a proper job, is it? That would have been better to have gone on. Well, never mind. Blame Neil. Blame Neil. You're I would just eat Mazzy, I turned up, right? I literally, it's still here, half a can of beer. I just turned up with my beer, I put it on my table, my new beer table, and Neil were kicking off doing stuff. Can I tell you the problem with this now? Also, by doing the way you've done it, right? Doing it the way Neil's done yeah, it, yeah. if you look, right? So it is going in at an angle. Yeah. This hinge now is going to, it doesn't go, meant to go that way, that way, right? You now got to push the gate that way, which is basically making a putting a lot of pressure on your hinge in the face. Look, blame Neil, yeah? When you see Neil, have a go at him. In the meantime, leave me alone. Do I ain't done anything wrong. <laughs> I've just turned up. We haven't even got on his pitch yet, Mazzy, and we're arguing. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I didn't realise Budge job you did. <laughs> Neil did. I was right, just there. So what, what have we got to do? can't get on yet well we've got to wait for neil we need to align the paving slabs or something just to make sure everything's perfect and then we need to get vacuum out to get all the stones off there i oh, don't know it's a bit of a job that's gonna take some doing isn't it brushing that out yeah we'll get a proper brush it's like a seaside with all these shells isn't it, it is what's going on in here is this just blown up well, we need to rearrange everything, Mazzy. Now, has that blown up, though? No, we just left it up at the time. What's that? Well, it's a tent peg. You, you, oh, there's loads. You bang this down. Oh, you have to do that, do you? Yeah, to keep this in. So that needs doing? Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's a lot, then. Well, not a lot. There's quite a bit of work to do, and the grass needs cutting at some point in the next couple of weeks. Well, week. Yeah. Lots to do. And um, a washer on our tablet, it's leaking, a new washer. Yeah, new washer. Uh, Neil said uh, he was going to do that for us. I'm sure he did. Well, he didn't. He but... said, actually, I'll tell you what he said. Dad, you you apparently worked at B&Q, so you should know then how to change the washer on that. You can do that, is what Neil said. Got to sort out this area. Because, why, Mazzy? Well... Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're getting a shed tomorrow. A storage, a storage, storage box. container. Yeah, like, you know, one of these um, galvanised Yeah, we've ones. seen one in Skegness for sale on Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace or something. 
Um, and hopefully we're getting that tomorrow at a good price, yeah, isn't it? very good price. I mean, we're all planned to go and pick it up. I just, fingers crossed that it just doesn't go, it's up. <laughs> we're waiting to see if we can get a trailer tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, just wait for Neil and then drive in. Go down and get a broom and stuff then. Um, do you want to go down and get a broom and stuff then? I do. Yeah. But the garage is shut at the moment. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, if you just want to use your hands for now, getting big bits off. No, I do not. There's rabbit droppings. Yeah. Just I... pick them off, Mazzy, like that. No. No. <laughs> yeah, man, then. Right, so what happened there is that Neil's idea was to just put four slabs on there at each wheel. I'd already said that's a bit of a bodge job because ideally they need to be sunken into the ground. That's too, that's too much. By the time you got to that one, babe, your back wheel weren't going back onto that to allow it to then, because you were then up against each other. You were fighting against to get onto this one and this one and you were wheel spinning. They need to be sunken, don't they? Well, that's what I'm going to get Neil to do. I'm going to get him to sink them in. Well, at least we've got, like, know exactly where they need sinking now, but, Think yeah. Ground. Think ground. It's going to be a bit of a job. Nah. Look, he's working. He's doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the idea now, we've gotten rid of the four four bits for the wheels and we're just going to flatten it all out like a hard hard standing pitch now second time lucky <laughs> Yeah, that's much better. So we've got these two, it's like a little platform to get out. That's definitely better, that. See if he's in enough. Level there, yeah, like plenty, it. plenty of room. Yeah, that's better, that. We have some super thanks to give. Super duper duper thanks. Because there's some people who really deserve to be thanked. Yeah. On our list today, <gasps> Peter Webster. The lovely pizza. Thank you, Peter. Rhonda Walker. Thank you, Rhonda. Unbelievable, Unbelievable Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Tam and Lorraine Brown. Thank you, Tam and Lorraine. Silver Lining. Thank you, Silver Lining. Lynn and Tony Highton. Thank you, Lynn and Tony. Gosh, my hair looks awful today. 
Looks beautiful. James Woolvet. Thank you, James. That's spelled quite a strange way, isn't it? <laughs> not unless you're him. It might be to you. Well, it's not your usual way of spelling James. That's no, I don't think saying. that's the real spelling. He's put it with a oh. Z on the end. I don't think that's real. Um, and Shirley, Shirley and, and Steve, Steve Divine. Divine. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. <laughs> Love you all to bits. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Let's crack on with the video. More work. Got some serious equipment there, darling. Yeah, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it hoovers, silly. <laughs> that's a leaf blower. Oh, wow, that's a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need much Oh, it really does suck. I don't know what it. I don't even know if it's sucking or blowing. Can I think you tell it's. Me? I think it's sucking at the tell minute. Me. I'm not really sure. It's not very powerful if it is sucking. I think that's meant to be blowing. I think the whole. Pool. That's it, isn't it? Neil and his shingling idea. He hasn't got a clue, has he? He hasn't got a clue. Pass me that brush. <laughs> Manual labour, darling. Can't go wrong, can you? Getting your hands stuck in. <laughs> That's better. It's going to take some time. It's going to take a long time, man. Yeah. So this is why people have campsite wardens. They're there to ward the campsite. They're not there to tell you to do jobs because they can't tell you to do it properly. Firstly, Neil told me to use this, right? You can't even tell if it's sucking or blowing. It is rubbish. There's actually an electric AstroTurf sweeper to get all the muck off here, which I should have used in the first place. Did you ask, Dan? Did you ask? No. I was joking when I said take that. You should have used a proper bit of equipment. On have top of seen, that. You've ever, you've ever seen me walking around on the site with that? <laughs> ever. He stitched you up. <laughs> ever. On top of that, he's just brought a load of... He's basically asked me to do all the drainage, all the sewers myself for the entire seasonal area. So I've got all this to do today. You're get everything the, plumbed in. Because in the grass today, you've done. Grass might get cut one day, but not today. Strimming? Strimming will get done, but, but not today. Flagging? Oh, flagging, that's definitely going to get done, but it, I don't think it's going to be today. Raking? Anyway, done enough for today. Getting a bit tired now. Might just sit down and have a pint. Hard work having a seasonal pitch. It's not all fun and games. Is it going to fit a honey? I can't remember what five foot is in centimetres. Is it about 160? I don't know, it's hard to work it out. Oh, it's just one job after another, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. It'll go to about here, I think. Yeah. Come on then, home sweet home. It's as good as it gets for now. Whoa, 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 a little bit, whoa, whoa. That should do. Sort of going from one job for to another here. We were sweeping this, fixing this, started that, and ended up with loads of jobs that ain't finished. <laughs> Odd job. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work, man. Uh, really? <laughs> Neil and his stupid rubbish tools what don't do anything. That's not, the, that's not what I said get, it's the other one. You yeah. keep pulling the wrong ones out, that's for rabbit droppings. <laughs> Have you got the wrong one? You said that one there behind me. I was joking. 
Well, that's hilarious. I just walked 300 metres with that. But I bet he'll scoop up the lead. Try, try, try the lead. Perfect. It might come in handy for the odd bit. So for your leaves and your rabbit droppings, but not stones. They're too heavy. Yeah. No, it's all right, Mazzy. But I like the way that he's bought the astroturf up. It's like it's yeah. like a haircut. He's bought, bought it up, isn't it? Yeah. You're gonna finish strikes, it then? It? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give you some strokes. Yeah, that'd be well smart. <laughs> mm. I'm thinking I might be able to put stripes on it or something. Let's give it a go. Did it put stripes on? Not really, it actually looks very stripy through there but it isn't that stripy. Um, did it do a good job? <clears throat> Not really, there's still some leaves on there but it does look better, it's pulled it up a little bit. Will I use it again? No. <sighs> Definitely not. How did you get on with your stripes honey? Nah. Nah? I think it has helped a little bit. It's certainly kind of fluffed it up. It has on this side, not that side for some reason. When you look through what that... What side? When you edit this, it does look like there's stripes. But what, there isn't. What do you mean it hasn't worked on what side? That side looks flat. That side looks... Well, of course it's up. looked flat because you've gone against the grain. You've flattened that one, gone up one and gone down the other. I've just been saying on camera, as it, I'm never doing it again, so it really But doesn't that's matter. what happens, you flatten the grain, so that's why you get your stripes. Do you not understand how it works? I'm just not doing it again, all right. Oh, you're such an odd job. Oh, Neil, don't be giving him that. PCFE. Oh, I thought you were giving him the hammer. Love hammer. And what's like, that for? I mess you got me into Stanley. Not people, not many people will know what that means. There you go. Crack, crack on. Crack on. What am I meant to do with it? And then with one spare. Right, hold on to that down for me. Be down, be on down. Come. Come, come, come down. So if you knock that in, Neil, that's it. Yeah, come on, hold it. Come on, hold this for me, Dan. Come on, hold it. That's no. it. Feel that on there. Go. That's it. No, 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 That's it. Come. Come on. Dad. I'm not holding. No way. No way. I don't trust it. I don't trust you. And that way, you see, if there is any hurricane or anything, it's not going to lift up. So I reckon I did 45 quid for you. 45 quid. Yeah, if you want me to thank you very much. much. That's right. nice of him, isn't it? <laughs> Where am I going to send the invoice to? Pop 13. Send it wherever you want, Neil. Send it wherever I want. <laughs> uh, now you need to get that stake and stake it in there. I can't do it, you see, because I've got a poorly arm. Well, you're doing well, my dear. You've done well all day. I yeah, know. It's not holiday, though, is it? You get a seasonal pitch to relax and stuff and have barbecues <laughs> and chat with neighbours and just have fun and relax and it ain't happening. Well, got a little bit of sorting out to do first. Yeah, so Dan's trying to get this prepared because like we said earlier, fingers crossed we're going to get the shed tomorrow. Well, that's ready. That should just fit on there. You think that'll be big enough? I think that's the size of the shed. And anything extra I do now is just for Extra, us. yeah. Um, and then we need to redo all this AstroTurf. 
Yeah, we've got a, all over the place. got a lot of leftover AstroTurf. I don't really know where it came from. Lots of bits. Um, we'll think of somewhere, I suppose. But it's starting to look well. This has come up okay, but it's constantly getting stuff on it, so I think we're going to be battling with that. But it was horrendous condition when we got it, wasn't it? It did have a lot of... What, the... The AstroTurf. Yeah. Yeah, it had a lot of stuff inside it. Well, that's brill. You know, I'm not doing the best job, but I can potter, I can play with it next year. It's our pitch. Yeah, we can take our time with it and stuff, can't we? It's just a matter of getting it having a base. Order of some kind and then Yeah. Because Thursday's going to be nice weather. Yeah, that'll be nice because it's been quite windy today and Dan's saying it's going to be even windier tomorrow. No, that's changed. Oh, has it? But it is going to throw it down tomorrow. Oh, even better. <laughs> so that is it on our pitch for one day. For one day. There's plenty more to come. <laughs> At the end of the day, someone else was on this pitch two, three days ago. Yeah. Um, what we've actually managed to do is pretty incredible considering we didn't think we'd be on it till next year no so yeah it's a bonus really <laughs> we've done it? well yeah you know the fact we've got the astroturf down is a massive bonus and that's pegged down now yeah um i've done the paving slabs over here I mean, we were lucky to have all of this really that being left and everything wasn't it yeah really? yeah you know, it's a bit of a bodge job in that it's not even. I don't think that's really going to matter because it's just a storage container going on top of here. Yeah. Up to there, I think. I think it's five foot by three foot. And so I, about four foot, five foot, I don't know. I mean, even just this storage bo box popping up the way it did. Yes. You know, we weren't prepared. We didn't know we were going to be buying one this week, did no, we? No, you know, it's not <sighs> definite yet. Uh, we still have to go it's to be see tomorrow. it and pick it up. Yeah, it's supposed to be tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, yeah, we'll have a storage box yeah. there tomorrow. Yep, that'll be good. So, all I've done is lay them out for that to go on top of, and then the rest of the slabs which were left, I've just put down in some kind of neat order, and I don't think that looks bad. It's nice to have a little bit of hard standing for this, that and the other, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had to jigsaw this all about, didn't we? Which looks better. You it, know, it's not perfect, we know that. But it looks free. a lot better than it did. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All this is just extra on top, laying on top. Um, we need to cut out a few bits, make it look as good as we can. But it's all odd bits, because yeah. it's very expensive, this stuff, apparently. These are £250 for one this big. This is actually a really big one though, so I'm wondering... It no, they're all more. the same size. Oh, are they? Well, this is the same size as the one which was on here, remember? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. £250. That's so, a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. So, rather than go out and buy, mm. that would have cost them £150. They're just, you know, just using little bits to make it up. Makes so, you. So one, yeah. you know, it's going to be different colours, different kinds of grass. Oh, it's fine. But it is going to be all neat and tidy when we're done. Get rid of the offcuts. I'm sure Neil can find a use for them. I'm sure there's somebody on campsite that could make use of yep. those, isn't there? Yeah. Still yeah. got a leaky tap needs sorting out. Um, some kind of makeshift tube for his waste water, which sort of works. So that's I'll good. Test that properly, yeah, because our tank is empty, so yeah, you know we don't know if it works. Well, water did go from there to there. It's just yeah. one big long pipe which has to go all the way to there. It does get there. But to be fair, even if it doesn't work, we didn't expect to have that anyway, did no. we? I mean, we're one of these that would have just emptied it in the bucket Buckets. and Buckets. straight down the drain. So yeah. yeah. So that's a bonus. Uh, last thing, uh, can you hold that? We certainly ain't finished though, have we? Oh no, no, lots to do, lots to do. Yeah. Before we head off to Spain, well, we're not going to be here that long anyway. We've got no, to go before we leave here. Before we leave here, yeah. we'd like to mow the grass and trim all the edge. Yeah. 
which is fantastic because there is on campsite uh, mower and strimmer which uh, the seasonal pitch people can use because yeah. seasonal pitch people have to look after their own plot you see yeah so again we're saving money there as well so that's handy it's, it's nice you can yeah. use the tools yeah um, bird box now Neil but me and Neil are in competition with this you see he's got one the same and we're both trying to attract tits apparently this is the size for a tit um, and he's come over telling me where to put this, where it'd be a good place to put it. Be careful, he could be stitching you up, you know. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And he said, was it here? Yeah. I think it was here. Yeah. Now I said, I don't want to put it up until I disguise it. I want to put moss on it and some twigs, make it look more natural. Yeah, astro turf, leftover astro turf. In the bottom, give it a carpet. <laughs> Hammer it on. Yeah. <laughs> but then I thought, <coughs> it would be better like that because they'd have a bigger dining, a, a bigger floor space. You know, they don't need height, they're not very high, are they? Uh, birds. So rather than a lot of height, give it more floor space, put it that way. So I'm thinking I might put it up like that. I bet really? no one's ever, yeah, no one's ever done that, but I think that'd work. More floor space, what bird? Oh, you weirdo! Oh, they can have a kitchen, <laughs> a lounge area, bathroom. Yeah. Whereas that way, mm. they've just got one room. I don't know. I've dealt with a couple of um, I want to say Laurel and Hardys, but I want to say um, I don't know what. Beauty the, and the budget, Beast. Budgets and budgets today. Beauty and the Beast is what you. <laughs> budgets and badges. Right, so we're going to wrap this video up here anyway, aren't we? No, we're not. So it has been a hard few days. It's been like moving house, it really has. <laughs> Stressful. Just, just mentally, yeah. Mentally for Mazzy, um, physically for me, because I've been working real hard, lifting paving slabs and stuff. I have been doing stuff. None of it's oh, getting no, you recorded. Have. No, we both have. Neil yeah, hasn't done much, but we've done a lot. My day yesterday also was horrendously. But anyway, anyway, forget that. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna wrap this up, yeah? Yeah, we'll Hope, see you tomorrow. Hopefully we might get a takeaway tonight. Oh, she's on about a takeaway. Got a curry house down the road, they deliver. Yeah, but if we get a delivery, yeah. someone has to stand at the gate for an hour. Are you not to wanting turn? to get one then? Am I, you not wanting to get one? I don't one? know. Right, I don't know. I'm guessing you don't want one then. Right, we'll wrap this up. We'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. You could walk down to delivery. You Sorry. could walk. Scrabble